For this design challenge, Edison will represent an item counter at a store's checkout counter. This red block right here, this is going to represent the items at the checkout counter. Every time the red block is swiped in front of Edison, Edison needs to count that item as one. Edison needs to store this information in memory. However, Edison also needs to communicate this back to us. Edison's going to communicate this back to us by flashing his lights. You should design your program so that at any point while the program is running, if you press the record button, Edison will flash his right light the number of times, or a certain number of times, based off of the items that he's counted during the checkout process. For this design challenge, there's a couple things that you should keep in mind when designing the program. First off, you should probably use the line detection sensor. Why? Because with these items, there's a light surface and a dark surface. And with the line detection sensor, Edison's making that comparison. Is he seeing a reflective surface or a non-reflective surface? Also, you need to design your program with a way that Edison can store this information that he's counting. So you should probably design your program with a variable and your program should be designed so that when the record button is pressed Edison can look at that variable and flash his lights based off of the number of items or the total number that's being stored inside that variable.